Hello there ladies and gentlemen, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install some custom kernels here. So eventually we managed to get a custom kernel for Asus ROG Phone 2. So this one seems pretty good. It works uh, only on Android 9 at the moment, so if you're running Android Beta it that won't do. So there are a good number of power saving features and stuff implemented in here. Uh, you also get the WireGuard VPN support, so if you use that, that's very handy. And then memory related issues, so I think uh, the phone will use like le less RAM for its apps, so it'll manage them better. And also the CPU uh, frequencies times are improved, so it won't be like using 100 or uh, like 3 gigahertz all the time, you know. So that's pretty good. Now for this, you will actually need to use uh, TWRP. So if you haven't got that installed, I have some videos on it. Check out the latest video I have on it. And then, so just download it from here. It's a zip file. So just download that one. And then just copy it over to your phone. I put it inside my downloads folder. And then when you're on your phone, uh, you'll need to reboot into TWRP. So an actual easy way to do that is if you go into Magisk Manager, uh, go into Modules, and then click the yoke here at the top and reboot to recovery. So this will get you into TWRP straight away. All right, so if it asks you for password, that's just your lock screen password or pin number. So I have a pin number in mine. And then once you enter it, it should start decrypting and stuff. All right, so before we flash the kernel, we'll actually make a backup of the boot image. So I'll just delete the generated name here since it's quite long and just call it boot. Then the handy thing about this is you can append the date. And then another good idea is to set a password. And then it's just gonna ask you for a password again. So just set the same one. And then just swipe to backup. So if you don't like the new kernel, you can just uh, go to restore and then restore the boot image that you backed up and that'll get rid of the new kernel. So to install, just go to install and navigate to your downloads folder. So you'll probably end up here, then just find download and then the flash the Yoda one. All right, so you had to wait a while there. It looked like it was done, but you just had to sit there and wait. So yeah, you shouldn't need to install uh, Magisk again. It should already be here, so just press Reboot System. And now you should have the new kernel. And we'll see if uh, safety net uh, check is still okay. All right, so the boot up after flashing is taking a while. So if it takes a while for you as well, don't panic, it's fine. Yeah, so that took around two minutes or so to boot up. All right, so everything looks okay. If we go into Magisk Manager, and if we check the safety net. Yeah, so as you can see, this kernel flashing it doesn't mess up your safety net or anything. So that's pretty good. Google Pay and all that kind of stuff should still work with the new kernel. So now there should be better battery life and stuff like that. Oh yeah, one more thing to note, that if you go into system information, uh, it won't show your kernel version number, and that's, uh, that's fine. So if you want to see your kernel version, you can install either uh, this app here, 
FK kernel manager or EX kernel manager. I already purchased this app, so I'll just download it. Yeah, so as you can see here at the bottom, you can now see the kernel version there. So it's 4.14. Um, I'm not sure if you can overclock with this. Let's see. Yeah, you might be able to overclock with this, but I'm not going to bother. All right. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye bye.